Fill her up. You're listening to the Gas Digital Network. Well, Broad Topics <laughs> fans, we have another. Ooh. Ooh. Ghost, Ghost story. story. <laughs> We spend way too much time together, dude. It's crazy. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of Broad Motherfucking Topics. I'm your host, Kim Congdon, here with my co-host, Alex Scarlato. What's up? Baby, girl. I'm doing okay today, Kimmy. How are you? I'm hanging in there. We're on our last day of vacation. It's been a trip, I'll tell you. It's funny. These people have heard weeks of our vacation. That's the way it's going to be. If you listen to this show, you know that we are, we've are we been together for a week. We recorded six to seven episodes for you guys. And there it is. And there it is. We're on our last uh, day. And I got to tell you, the last day of a vacation is always rough. Yeah. You're exhausted. We've had it such a good time. We're always tight on time on the last day. Oh, my God. We're running late already. And I don't know where the time went this morning. Well, because last night I made a comment about how if we woke up at noon and did nothing today, we would still have five hours to do a podcast. And you said, honey, noon. When I said sleep in, I meant 10 (laughs) a.m. Then you slept till noon, pretty much. I slept till 1045. Okay, you did let me sleep. You let me sleep for a while. I let you sleep, but I woke you up at 1110 and said it was almost noon, which was a little bit of a fib. But you know what? I was relieved when I looked at the clock. So I didn't mind your fib. Yeah. Because then when I was like, oh, God, is it really almost 12? And I checked the clock. I said, oh, Kimmy fibbed. No biggie. (laughs) Well, listen, my fib, this is the explanation for my fib. I figured 1115 is close enough to 12 where it's not too early that I'm calling or waking you up. Mm Mm-hmm. And it's enough to make to yeah. You only fib for goodness. I am, <laughs> yeah. I'm the Robin Hood of lying. She's been <laughs> fibbing to me this week a couple times. I don't think we said this on a show yet. Um, oh yeah. The other day at the hotel, I took a few mushies. Yeah, we took a few mushies. I left Kim and her sisters on the beach smoking for a minute to go pick up food that I had ordered over at the tiki bar. This was when the sun was setting. Sun setting. About five minutes later, I come back and Kim's looking all serious. And she goes, Alex, you want the good news or the bad news? And I said, bad news first. Every time I always want the bad news first. I want to end on a good note. And she said, you sure? And I said, yeah. And she said, there is no bad news. Turn Turn around. around. (laughs) And there was a rainbow in the sky. (laughs) (laughs) And it was really beautifully done. Almost Perfectly executed the first time, I'd say. Yeah. To the degree that I should have seen it coming when it came around the second time. (laughs) Because about 10 minutes later, uh, she's chilling. I almost feel like you weren't even focused on what was happening on your phone. She's an actress. You were acting. She's an actress. Pretending something really important is happening on the phone. Maybe she gets a call from Lewis. Maybe Broad Topics is canceled forever. We we got kicked off the show because I stalk them. Whatever it is. Um, and she's like, oh, fuck, Alex, seriously, you want the bad news or the good news first? And I was like, Kim, every time, every single time I want the bad news first. No, I said, I said this, I am, I actually hate that I did this to you earlier because I have really have to do it to you now. Mm-hmm. And then I, and I soft pitched it. she's a good it. actress. I soft pitched it because I wanted her to take right then. I'm also a mark though. If you guys want to <laughs> prank somebody... I'm the one. She's a good pranky. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is what makes me, that's why I get really sad when I get pranked. You do? Cause I'm, yeah. Cause I'm like, well, not that kind of prank. Like, Oh, a, not me making you sad by showing you a rainbow. If it were going to be like a big prank, I would have to kill myself because I'm so susceptible. Every bit of it would work on me. Like, right. Like, uh, what's that Ashton Kutcher show? You could punk punked. me. You could yeah, punk yeah. the shit out of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They just couldn't call it pranked. Yeah. Why? I don't know. Pranked would have been almost better. Yeah. Punked is memorable, though. Punked. Yeah, I guess so. Hey, if we do fall backwards into the pool, I just realized, throw the microphone as you're going. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Um. So, yeah, you came back a few minutes later, and I was like, Alex, I hate that I fucking did this to you the first time, because for real this time, do you want the good news or bad news? And and this time, I had the phone. The first time, I just want to... Like, I'm breaking it down for yeah. you people. I had the phone the first time. The, I mean, I had nothing... The girl knows how to set up a bit. Yeah, so I had the phone. I said, Ugh, do you want the good news or the bad news for real? And she said... I like... I went like, oh, all right, bad news. I, was serious. I Truly, you, you fooled me. And I said, again, no bad news. Turn around. Double, Double rainbow. rainbow. 
<laughs> the rainbow had become a two rainbow. The rainbow had gotten bigger and been a double. Isn't and it was the best news to on, get twice on one mushrooms rainbow, two while rainbow. you're smoking weed, having your dinner on the beach. Are you kidding me? It was the sweetest. So I like a good little Kimmy Fib. Yeah. I call it Kimmy Fibster. <laughs> Kimmy Fibster. It's really good. Um, Look at my mom eating a pastry and watching she's this. A, she, she's the opposite of Sarah right now. She's the opposite. <laughs> she wants to be here so bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, she caught it. Yeah. <laughs> she flicked me off. No, <laughs> she did not catch my kiss and then give you the middle finger. That's crazy. Look at her. She's laughing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> With eating a fucking corn muffin, laughing in my face. She's a priceless gem. She honestly, I could put a price on it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, I could probably mark it up. <laughs> um, I feel like she really uh, almost wrecked this podcast this morning by telling us the truth of the scenario last night. Mm-hmm. Because I got to tell you, I was amped on the timing of everything. I was scared to death last night as if I were a six-year-old who just watched Are You Afraid of the Dark? Well, Broad Topics <laughs> fans, we have another. Ooh. 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 Ghost, Ghost story. story. <laughs> We spend way too much time together, dude. Crazy. Uh, we don't even spend a lot of time together. No. Well, we do on FaceTime. But we're connected. We're connected at the elbow, Kim. It's like that's where we was conjoined as babies. When Kim's sister said that I remind them of a fo- of the fourth sister. Isn't that weird? My, yeah, my two other sisters were like, oh, you remind me of our other sister. Um, so last night we come out here to smoke the last little crumble of weed that we've saved for ourselves we've been for the week. S- <laughs> we've been smoking like high schoolers, by the way. Yeah, we had one eighth to last us the whole week. Can I tell you, I think that our fans in particular would be extremely proud of our drug use on this trip. We only did it to stay away. We truly only used any drug whatsoever other than weed to stay awake and give you guys podcasts at the end of the night because we were so tired. We were like, let's take a micro dose of mushrooms. Let's take a tiny corner of a toy, which I'll admit I've never done before. Every time I took in a tiny quarter, it really escalates very quickly. And last night, that tiny, so good. just a little sprinkle of acid like the sand man gives you when mm. you're going to sleep at night. Does he give you acid? No, he gives you okay. sand for sleep. Does he? I've never heard of this. You've never heard of the Sandman? No, that sounds like my worst nightmare. He comes sprinkle sand in I your feel sheets like at the night. Sandman became that first of all, you and sand in the sheets. We've had to really <laughs> It is the opposite of what you would ever want after this beach week. Yeah. The Sandman. Your parents didn't tell you when you were little that this was before the Sandman was a scary movie, by the way. I was a kid in the nineties and when I didn't want to go to sleep, my parents would be like it's okay if you're not tired. Just close your eyes for about five or ten minutes, and the Sandman will come and sprinkle you with some tired spread, tired juice, whatever. It's not juice; it's powder. <laughs> no. And he, that's the way they would encourage me to like, even if I couldn't, if I didn't feel tired, just give the Sandman a chance to come and make me tired. That's some no. I didn't uh-huh. mind it. It wasn't scary till the Sandman movie. A lizard. Not a lizard on Brother Bill's grave. Do you see that? I his loved throat? it. His little throat. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ew. When the lizard breathes, this thing comes out and goes... And it's red. Yeah, oh, the rest of it is green. He's Actually, beautiful. that's a very good example. Yeah. You ever seen that on a lizard? I have now. That lizard can take a dick in its throat, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> Um, wait, what were we talking about? Oh, so I don't know. The same. Well, we were no, we were scrounging up weed, like yeah, literally. Like my mom has a medical card, and I thought she could get us weed, but it was expired. Kim got here, and she was like, "Mom, can you go pick us some weed?" And she was like, "It's expired." <laughs> yeah, and then I and then I texted the only drug dealer I know in town. Well, we've been concerned. I feel like you know more, but we've just been concerned to get drug off drugs off the streets in Florida because Florida just has a reputation for people going there and dying for absolutely no reason. <laughs> you know what I mean? I even knew a girl in high school who came to Florida for a weekend and died. No, I don't I don't feel like it has that reputation. I think it's a Patton Oswald bit that it, like your th- daughter's gonna die in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> I think that it's it's mostly like people that do drugs. People fly to Florida to come pick up their daughter's body is the bit. Which I've literally seen firsthand in my life. (laughs) 
I don't feel like, I feel like everyone I know that died in Florida was from drugs. Everyone. Well, that's why we decided not to get any weed off the streets because we don't trust fentanyl these days being in just about everything, especially outside of like Listen, where people we are live. saying it's in the Coke. It's in the fucking Molly. It's, it's in definitely the, in the Molly. It's in the ecstasy. It's, it's, that's kind of the same thing, right? It's probably in, they're a little different, I think. And there's been a few cases of it being in weed. It's probably in ketamine. It's probably in everything, dude. Yeah. You know what? This side note. And I know that I'm not supposed to be responding to the fans on Reddit anymore, like via oh, this show. Not this shit again. But the way that they think I'm a cokehead, because <laughs> I don't know if I told you this, we were doing a Zoom episode of Skank. We talked about ago. it on here. It's still going. The other day I was at my family barbecue for Memorial Day, um, just opening up Reddit to hurt my own feelings. And there's a whole thread about Why how you opening up Reddit at a family barbecue. Isn't that fucked? Just eat and go hang out. Isn't that fucked up? Yeah. It's fucked up. I opened up Reddit to find that I am indeed a coke addict who can't stop doing coke alone in the middle of the day. So hilarious. Anyways, anyways neither here nor there. I got to tell you, your response, very cokehead. <laughs> just getting me. angry in the middle of the pot about it. It pisses me <laughs> She's right off. She's got a off. real cokehead response. <laughs> Y'all don't even, I gained 10 pounds this year. You have gained weight. Your thighs are thicky what right now. What about this thicky bod is screaming cokehead to you idiots? She is thicky. Look at her thighs. Guys, I'm an acid head. Get a free. It's true. You are like a mushroom acid head. Yeah. But even that I've slowed down on to a very. And weed. We've both slowed we have down on. We've slowed the fuck down. Listen, it's been great. We're tired. What, how long have we been doing this? We're pot? getting Three old. Years? Yeah, we're getting older. We're not getting old. We're no, getting older. According to some. We won't talk about Romeo's revenge right now. <laughs> we are getting older. Yeah. We and just can't do as many drugs you anymore. You can't live that lifestyle forever. Especially mm -hmm. if you want to dabble in drugs when you're like way older you gotta slow it down I gotta at some tell point. you we're the perfect drug addicts I think so too and know you know what I'll bet down. everybody says that about themselves like <laughs> six months before they go to rehab but <laughs> we are actually killing it you guys just gotta trust trust so yeah we had this eighth of weed that I brought from home mm -hmm. uh, to smoke for the week mm -hmm. and yeah we also smoked one eighth all week one eighth all week between two of us and sharing sometimes and with we other people like a f like two to three mushroom gummies uh in, like late at night just to stay up for another two hours and have the energy to podcast. Yeah. We thought that Because we was, don't do coke. Yeah. We could do coke, we, actually. Coke would have gotten us 15 shows this week. <laughs> okay? You're you guys right. should know by that that that's just that's not actually, the case. That's the only proof you need is that we only put out six podcasts. Did you see how tired I was on these episodes? <laughs> um, but yeah, so last night we scrounged together like the last little bit of weed to come outside and smoke before bed. Yes. Uh, you know, sun's down. Everybody in the house is asleep. Guns down. Sun's down, guns down. That's the saying in Florida when the sun sets. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's like everybody takes <laughs> off for the night. They take their gun and put it by their bed. <laughs> um, I think that's literally what that means. Sun's down, guns down? Yeah. Okay. I never heard of it before. I thought you were kidding. But no, I've heard that before. And now I'm thinking of it. I was like, oh, yeah, that's what it means. And it's like, I that's don't want to fall asleep with it in my belt. <laughs> yeah, that's probably what it means. Yeah. It's probably like they're unarmed. I like to keep warning your mom about gun safety this morning. <laughs> she does TikToks with her shotgun. No. Oh, she's flipping it in the air. No. Yeah, dude, she's blowing into it. <laughs> she's spinning it around her finger. I'm done. I'm fucking done. I had to block her. I was like, you can't be playing. With you can't like, be you making even... me anxious all day from states away. That's I, crazy. I was, like, I was like, do you even know if, I literally said to her, I was like, do you know if it's loaded? She's like, it's not loaded. Do you want me to show you? And I'm no. like, no. Don't even touch it around don't, me. Don't even fucking bring don't it around me. Don't even fucking look at it. Yeah. Well, so last night. All right, guys. Uh, let's take another second to talk to you about one of our favorite sponsors. It's rockauto.com, the online store with every auto part at the best prices. This is your one-stop shop for everything auto parts. rockauto.com has been in business for 20 years, and they make it easy to find the parts you need at the best possible prices. No more talking to counter guys who need to order your parts, aren't really sure what you're looking for, never have quite what you need, and then after all the hassle, we'll still charge you storefront marks. Markups. At rockauto.com, you can easily find everything you need. And whether you're a mechanic, an auto shop, or just working on your own car, everyone has access to the same incredible pricing at rockauto.com. So if you're a car guy, right now go to rockauto.com and check out all the parts available for your car. 
Trust me, you're going to have a blast looking at car parts. So one more time, that's rockauto.com, R-O-C-K-A-U-T-O.com. There's no promo code needed because their pricing is already that good. When you order, just make sure to tell rockauto.com that you heard about them on Broad Topics Podcast. All right, let's get back to the show. We're smoking pots. Mm -hmm. We're sleepy, chilling. And we're back here and a light starts strobing insanely. Like, you know the way a strobe light goes off at a haunted house. Yeah. Um, And we're like FaceTiming with Harrington. It's very distracting in the background. We're like, we need to get it off. It's giving us seizures. It's good. We're having like early onset seizures from this. And I can't find the switch. No switch. Uh, it's like an automatic light. It's like a like a. It's a, like a floodlight for the backyard. Yeah, so it's supposed to just go on or off yeah. if you walk by it. Maybe motion sensor. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we're nowhere near it when it goes on, though. No. Uh, so Kim stands up. Well, first of all, we're a little freaked out. We're like, "What is that? Can it's? Can you please stop?" She, tell, she turns the light. She's like, "Can you please stop?" And like as her sentence ended. The strobe light stops. <laughs> and we're like, already, you know, we're a little high. We were like, that was weird. We're sleepy from a long week. We're like, that was kind of weird. Like, we're like, Mike, did you see that? And he's like, yeah, that was a little weird. Whatever. We all keep talking. We're chilling. We go back to smoking our weed. The joint keeps going out. You have to keep relighting it. As we relight it, if the shit comes on again. And the second time, what did you say? The second said, time we were like, this might be a ghost. I think you have control over it. We're like we starting to joke around like that. Yeah, yeah, we made a joke like, go tell the ghost to stop again. Like, Kim, you have the power. Just go ask it to stop and it will. And we're just kidding around. And then I stood up and I said, can you stop? And it didn't. And mm-hmm. then Alex was like, maybe if you ask nicely. Mm-hmm. And I was like, can you please stop? And it, it just stops. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm starting to get freaked out. And like, then she's I'm, like, don't do that again. Yeah, I was like, don't do that again. I'm like getting goosebumps. I'm feeling like a little kid. Like truly, you know, those like the way scary stories used to affect you when you were 10. Yeah. Um, and I'm starting to get freaked out. But at this and I'm so already starting to think maybe we should go inside. But we had smoked so little this week. And, and we I was just so wanted starved a joint. for weed. I was like, we ha- I have to smoke the rest of this joint. We mm-hmm. just have to. Mm-hmm. So we're relighting it and relighting it. It's like humid down here. Um, so it doesn't stay lit. And we relight it again. And the shit starts again. Mm-hmm. And I'm like freaked out at this point. I'm like, Kim's like, all right. She starts talking to it. And I was like, Kim, stop, please. Don't talk to it anymore. Don't I engage with it. I went to go make it. a third joke. Yeah. I was like, ah, come here, you little piece of shit. I was like, Kim, and she was like, no, don't. Truly, I was like, please don't engage with it. I can't handle it anymore. And apparently... I We sit down <laughs> and a few seconds later it stops. And, and we keep talking. Let's go. We chill. I'm like, okay, great. It stopped again. And uh, like a minute later, she couldn't help it. She was like, Alex, I'm freaked out. I have to admit to you, I asked it to stop in my head and it stopped immediately. That's <laughs> it. really did. It's not even like I asked it to stop. I just thought of saying out loud, okay, but could you stop? Like as a joke like I, and it's yeah. stopping. And then when I, d- and, and not doing it out loud because Alex didn't want me to. And then so when I- respectful, by the way, Kim <laughs> held back a joke for me. I've never seen her do that for anyone. Yeah. Well, I do it sometimes, mm-hmm. especially if I don't want to, if, if it's like someone I really like, I hold it back. Yeah. You don't want to cause discomfort. Not if you're scared, Alex. I was scared. I was truly scared like a baby. So, yeah, I said it in my head and it stopped. But this is what I'm thinking. Mm-hmm. Is I don't think it's a ghost. Mm-hmm. The light is not a ghost. Mm-hmm. I think that it happens. Something's fucked up about that light. It's on a specific kind of timer. Mm-hmm. And we probably spent the same amount discussing before I went to say stop every single time. That makes sense. That does make sense. But then it's extra stupid because also this morning we asked your mom if the light does that. And she was like, yeah, all the time. Like it was just like not a thing. Yeah. Um, Because if she said, no, that's never happened before, I would have been definitely freaked out. But the way that we spent the next three hours awake, wide a fucking wake. Yeah. And scared. Yeah. Like before we had come outside, we'd been sitting across this big living room from each other like. I was doing work. Kim was watching TikTok, whatever it was. We were fine. That's me doing work. When we, when we went back inside after, uh, after this joint, I went to sit in my original spot and I looked at, we looked at each other and we were like, no, I think we need to, I think we need to sit next to each other. We were scared. Actually, my mom has one of these things. Hold on. 
Have you ever had a bacalaito? No. What is it, mom? What's in it? ¿Qué es eso? It's a cod fish fritters. Cod fish fritters. They're so good. El pescado. Do you want to try one? Uh, sí, un poquito. Okay. Alex has been doing Duolingo. <laughs> I've been doing Duolingo enough that I understood, I'd say, about 25% of what Kim's grandmother was saying to her. I haven't learned insults yet, yeah. so I missed the rest of it. Thank you. Try this. This is what we used to eat as snacks after school. Si, si. Ah, it's so hot. Ah, uh, uh, ay. Ay. Que. Que. Caliente. There you go. <laughs> ay. She's very sp- Spanglish. Sí, muy española. <laughs> Un bite? Sí. Mm. You fuck with that, right? I fuck with that hard. Es muy, la comida mm. es muy buena. You like that? Sí. Want another bite before sí. we put it back? It's like, I can't even explain why it's good. You couldn't even explain this. It doesn't taste like fish, by the way. Mm-mm. Here. It, we can't okay, eat so the whole thing it. on the podcast. We're doing a podcast. Yeah. She's and also, pissed. we probably, we could have moved the mics away from our mouths while we were chewing. But no, it's ASMR for them. I didn't think of it in time, and I'm sorry if you have an aversion to that. Is this yours? Yeah, yes. Okay, good. Okay. I got scared that I finished mine without realizing. I hate when that happens. Unless that's mine, that would be a good gift. <laughs> you want to say it? What is it? Just plain? It's just plain. No, because you know why? Because I had such a sugary one that going to plain is not what I need. It's going to taste like... You got to go from plain to sugar. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so. Yeah, last day of vacation, rough, tiring. The beach is exhausting. Listen, if the beach is so fun, it really is crazy how like everything in everything. life... Everything. You've always said... And this is like the thing that annoys you about life, I could tell, because you always talk about it. Nothing's ever just easy. It's always a catch-22. The most fun thing Is it catch-22 or catch-20? 20? 22, I think. Why? What does that mean? I don't know. Because, I don't know. Catch-22. What catch does that mean? Catch-22. I don't know. We're recording on my phone or else I'd look it up. That's what also what you get with these, uh, with these like in-person vacation episodes is that I have no means to look anything up and Kim's always charging her phone. So we're dumber than ever <laughs> with no producer. Catch two, two. <laughs> mommy, no producer, mommy. <laughs> producer Mary. We got a producer right now. It's producer Mary in the house. She's got her titties out. Dog. She's a first timer. She, <laughs> you know, I noticed her titties this morning. <laughs> did you? I did because they are out. <laughs> <laughs> she, that's how all her tops are cut. But her tan line looks so good. Yeah. I love a tan line. I'm obsessed with the way that my butt looks after the beach this week. The tan line on the booty is like sexy in one way, but then in another way, it also makes you look like a young child. Oh, Alex, shut up. <laughs> you just sounded like an old white man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We Adults have to aren't supposed to be sunburned. That out. Not you being like, I feel sexy, but also like a baby girl. No, you know what it is? The sunburn is baby girl. And then in a few days when it turns to tan, it's going to turn to sexy. So I like having the best of both worlds. I'm going to transition like I did in life from childhood. You get to grow to again. Adulthood. I get to grow again from being like, oop, you can't even touch my butt. It's too sunburned. If you slap it, I'll cry uh, to like, you know, look at this hot thing. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> Yeah, the origin. What? We don't know like why it's called a catch twenty two. Catch twenty. Mutually, mutually conflicting or dependent conditions. Right. So, like, right. But can you look up um, in front of catch twenty two or after catch twenty two? Put in the word origin. Uh, how do you spell origin? O R I G I N. O R I G I N. Um, but it's yeah, raining. everything in life is truly a catch twenty two. Like the way going, our two favorite things are prime examples: skiing, snowboarding. Mm-hmm. You want to get up there and have fun. It's pouring. You have to put in. It's pouring. It's about to be okay. Let's step inside then. Sorry, guys. Florida's crazy. <laughs> Florida's wild. Anything man. can happen on the pod. Um, 
yeah, everything in life is hard. If like, you want to, yeah, go if ahead. If you want to ski and you want to snowboard, you have to rent the fucking skis. The the like putting them on is a bitch. The boots hurt to walk Walking in. Walking around in the boots. It then just kind of makes your ankles you're really sore. In the snow, in the boots, you have these like gloves dangling from your fucking jacket and you have to carry your skis all the way to the lift. You have to take the gloves on and off if you want to communicate with people that you can't find. You are fucking You're exhausted by the time you get to the top of the mountain for your first run. Yeah, and then and then you're also sweating. But if you take everything off, you're cold because the sweat has is wet. Mm -hmm. And then you ski down this mountain, and it's the most fun the thing, best ever thing ever. For three minutes, mm -hmm. and then you got to do it. You got to unclop oh. your skis, pick them up, hustle on over back to the lift. It's a fucking- If you're on a snowboard, you have to skate on the snow. Use all of your energy <laughs> that you've already used up coming down the mountain. It's wild. Same with surfing, apparently. First of all, we're beginners, so we were using like a 10-foot surfboard. I will say that surfboard. surfing takes a lot less energy than skiing and snowboarding. I disagree only because- Okay, first of all, if, you, if you're good enough to have a shorter board, much easier. But we're beginners. We had a 10-foot board that we had to lug around between getting it up on the top of the car, getting it, uh, like, you know, secured in with bungees, mm -hmm. getting everything that you need to go to the beach mm -hmm. in the car. You need towels. You need sunscreen. All the shit. Making your way to the beach sun's beating down on you. You're sweating. You got to unlatch well, you, the surfboard. Yeah. Uh, the bungee is a whole thing too. The yeah. bungee process is a nightmare. You got to carry the surfboard. You got to carry all the shit onto the beach. The beach is, and you'll, and you want to be closer to the water. So you have to carry it. As, it if you're you lucky, find the perfect spot, you if know, if you're lucky, there's no one right off the pier and you can go right in front of it. So you don't have to walk far, but usually there are people that take that spot because they also want to walk easily to the car. Then also, we tend to want to smoke a little bit on the beach. We got to get away from lifeguards. Mm -hmm. It's a trek. Mm -hmm. You set up. You got to rest for a minute. Then you're actually ready to surf. And you have to paddle out to the furthest point in the water, which is fine. But it's exhausting. I swear, every single time I paddled out to the point where I was supposed to surf, I was like, I think I need 10 minutes to sit here before I even have a chance of standing up on the surfboard. Mm -hmm. And then you have the most fun you've ever had in your life. Mm -hmm. The paddling but, is what gets me. But this is why I think that surfing is less work than snowboarding. Once you're at the beach, it's just that paddle. It takes about a minute or two to get out there, really but it's a hard minute or two. It's a hard workout for a minute or two. How long does it take to get from the thing back up to the, I guess it only takes a minute. It only takes a few minutes and the hard part is getting back to the ski lift, which is a minute or two. And then you actually get to rest for like three to five minutes while something is You're taking right. you to the top. Good so they're, they're very they're even. even. You're right. They're very even. Yeah. You got me. It's just. Listen, one thing about Kimmy Fibbler. She always tells the truth. <laughs> she always tells the truth. <laughs> That's one thing about my Kimmy Fibbler. <laughs> Do we know the meaning of Catch-22? Yeah. yeah. Oh, I thought she was just recording us. I forgot. Oh. <laughs> oh, cute. Paradox. Paradoxical. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. That's right. Paradoxical. Uh huh. Situation from which an individual cannot escape because of contradictory, Con contradictory. Uh -huh. rules or limitations. But where did it come from? We know what it means. Okay, the term was yeah. Yes. Joseph there you go. Say that. Joseph Heller. Uh huh. Oh, it's based on a novel. Oh. It's it's like gaslighting, like the way the term gaslighting came from a movie about a husband gaslighting his wife. So the term catch-22 comes from a book where there's a situation where there's an extreme catch-22, I'm sure. Oh, okay, I see. 
So it's like, that's, I always think that's cool when that happens, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. Gaslighting is such an important f- word to describe something that happens all the time. And the fact that it didn't exist until some dude made a movie about a guy telling his wife that the gaslight isn't working mm. is crazy. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. For example, do you want to get out of the combat duty? <laughs> you want to get out of the combat duty? Yes. No. Only the insane can and wanting to get out of it. <laughs> Proof of sanity. G-Mike's been doing too much acid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I don't know. Everything in life's like that. Like today, uh, well, I don't know. We're so excited to go home, both of us. We mm-hmm. both missed home. Mm-hmm. But to get there, what a fucking trek, dude. It'll be a trek. It'll be a trek. Everything that you want in life is hey, like... You want to eat something really good? Not good for you. <laughs> you want to eat the the foods that you like and the taste of the most? Mm-hmm. Not very good. Either, you got to feel a little guilt. Either not good for you or at this point in life, going to break the fucking bank. I like pleasure spiked with pain and music is my aeroplane. It's my aeroplane. It's literally life. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that's it's, my theme song for life. I don't know. I guess it's supposed to teach us a lesson of like all of the things that are worth doing uh, come at a price, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. I would. It would be nice to just chill for a bit, though. It would be so nice to chill but for a bit. But you know what? The only people who get to chill for a bit. No, not even. I was going to say like the Kardashians who have all the money. Their whole life they have is a being fucking followed. catch 22. Yeah. yeah they get all the things easy, but then. But then everybody in the world is talking about them and staring and at staring them, staring at and them they and can't and live. I mean, I'm hurt by one Reddit post and Kim Kardashian has the entire world talking about her every day. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It's always give and take, which Why? I guess, I don't know. It's kind of like maybe there's something nice about it. Like it speaks to there being an order to the universe. Like everything has to come out neutral. Right. And it also, if it was all good, it wouldn't feel good. Yeah. 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 What? But that's weird. Why can't it all just be good and feel good? Because we get too used to like the conditions that are coming at us. Like when everything's too good, we would find our brains are just human. Like we can't help it. We would find shit to be upset about. But that's what I'm saying. Why? Ah, you're right. That's another catch 22. If everything was good, we would find shit to be upset about because our brains work like that. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It's just because there's order to things. It doesn't make sense. The order seems out of order because it if, feels like it doesn't. There's not enough good to go around. So if everybody what? you couldn't always everybody can't always have it good. If some people always had it good, that would have to mean that some people always had it bad. Why is that? I don't know. Cast 22. Order. Yeah. <laughs> it's fucked up. <laughs> Oh, That's man. crazy how even when we try to work our way out of the problem, it is a, a like a, it gets meta and it's another catch 22. Yeah. Wow. I think there's a word for that. Atrophy. Atrophy is. Uh, excuse me. Producer Mary. I'm can you look up one more word at, for us? Are you before thinking you of entropy? No. Atrophy is when your muscles stop working <laughs> because you're laying in bed for too long. I think you're thinking of entropy and enthalpy. And th- entropy it's chaos and order are the two words that they mean it's like a scientific terms for chaos Maybe. and order am i smart or stupid i'm not sure i'm <laughs> definitely stupid <laughs> i'm sure sometimes i think i know something and i say it on a podcast with full confidence you, when it comes to comedy writing jokes being on podcast you're the quickest bitch i think i am the smartest in the world when it comes to anything else Catch 22. <laughs> you can only be good at something. That's so true. What? Yeah. Paradoxical. No. No, it's okay. We figured it out already. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for being our producer. And for the bacalaito. Bacalaito. Comida pesca. You can save it. Alex really liked it. She just whispered it's going in the trash. <laughs> she goes, Por qué? <laughs> Why would you do that? <laughs> Por qué? <laughs> Por qué basura? Yo quiero basura. No, you don't want trash. Oh, what was the other bacalaito. thing? Bacalaito. Ba- quiero bacalaito. She's very. No quiero basura. <laughs> Hora the explorer over here. <laughs> sí. <laughs> <laughs> ¿Dónde está mi titis? <laughs> 
can you find my vagina? Tinder still swiping. <laughs> Tinder still swiping. Tinder still swiping. Can you find the dildo from me backpack? <laughs> Backpack, backpack, <laughs> backpack, backpack. <laughs> <laughs> Horror the Explorer. Horror the Explorer. Ah, yeah, I'm trying to learn Spanish. It was a, it was truly just an attempt to get uh, to not even get off my phone. I said getting off my phone doesn't seem possible anymore. I'm gonna change my screen time to something that's productive for me because TikTok is rotting my brain. Mm-hmm. Um, no offense. It's okay. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> yeah, so uh, learning Spanish is fun. You guys should all listen. We don't have a sponsorship. I wish we did, but Duolingo is pretty sick. Go for it. Anyways. <laughs> you all right? <laughs> I'm tired. I'm tired, too. We have to get on this fucking flight. We got to go. We're going to make a quick pit stop. We have to. We're we going to stop the go see some gators. We're going to literally go stop and go see gators. But we have to go meet up with my friend Matt, who has a gun. So, yeah. And they told me this is the way that I know of what we're going to. OK, they said it's a trail where you're just on a trail and there's gators all over. And it's really fun because most of the time the gators don't come up to you. But we probably shouldn't go without a gun. Yeah. That's what I heard. So this might be my last podcast ever, honestly. That would be sick. This would do numbers. This would do such numbers. <sighs> I mean, it would be all it would be our last podcast. How morbid. Um, us like excitedly joking about the gators that are about to kill one of us. That's crazy. That's crazy. That would this would get a million hits. Yeah. It would be on the news. Maybe I'll trip and fall on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at least lose a toe. <gasps> lose the ugly <laughs> toe. <laughs> we, that's a perfect plan. But you know what? I think I appreciate it more than I realize because now that I'm looking at it, I don't want it gone. For the pod? I've had it my for the whole, pod. I've had it for years. <laughs> you wouldn't do it for the pod? I would not listen. I think Big Toe also like it fucks up. Your, have you seen the Amanda show? Do you remember um do you remember the bit? Oh, my, this is deep in my memory. There was a bit, it was like a I dramatic see. like series on the Amanda show about a girl whose mom died and her dad lost his toe in like Moody. the first episode. Moody. Thank you. Moody. Yes. Wow, that's deep in my memory. Moody. And the whole- Remember the whole, that? Yeah, the whole plot was like getting the dad to the hospital and getting the toe in a bag of ice and getting- Yes. This was for children, by the way. It and was it, traumatic. Maybe that's why it's one of my biggest fears if somebody loses, not even me, like- if me or someone loses a finger around me and I have to put the finger on ice and get to the hospital, I will fucking, it, it will change me forever. Yeah, um, same. But yeah, in that Moody, show. Do you know, remember how Moody lost her mom? It was so dark. It was a, it was a, uh, what's it called? An hot, air, hot air, balloon. air balloon accident. She was yelling Moody from it. Her, she was seeing her daughter for the last Moody. time. Moody! As the, uh, it actually, the guy that was doing it fell off or something. Yeah, and she went up to space never to be seen again. That's so sad. And every episode you'd see her somewhere in space looking for her daughter. Looking for her daughter. What a dark. It was really dark, dude. And the dad could like never balance again because he lost his big toe. And so that's my fear of if I give it this toe to an alligator. For the pod. No, maybe my pinky, which okay. is also fucked up, but it's less noticeable how fucked up Your it pinky's is. pinky's not fucked up. It is. Look at this pinky toenail. And look at that pinky toenail. I, I have a... Oh, look. No, 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 no. Yours are both... No. This, this toenail grows the same as this. It comes... Oh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They're both fucked up. The pinky is just so... Little and innocent, you wouldn't know. That little toenail just refuses to grow up. Huh? I st- what happened? Has it always been like that? This toenail, I stubbed it in kindergarten. No, your big one. My big one was from Point, from Dancing Dance. Ballet. Um, like, was it I, worth it? I was just constantly dancing on a toe that was killing me, and it turns out that like the nail was just pushing into the nail bed, and it fucked up the nail bed so that it just doesn't grow right anymore. Oh, wow. Um, it was worth it, though. I loved ballet. It shaped me into who I am. I bet you could do rehab on your toenail and have it grow again. I've been to the foot doctor for it. And since like the nail bed is not something that at this point in like medicine, we know how to fix. It's just one of those We've things. We've been to the moon. Yeah. <laughs> well, f- f- the NASA needs to start working on feet. I don't know what to say. <laughs> we need an astronaut with a foot fetish pronto. A stat. <laughs> yeah. Um, and then this one I stubbed when I was really little. Um, and it, 
I stopped it so hard when I was in kindergarten and the whole toenail came off. Yikes. I remember my mom having to cut one of no, my no, shoes. No, enough. We're good. Just one of my shoes. She had to cut it so that the, the toenail could breathe when I went to school. So I went to school with no. a clip and pinky toe cut out no. in the winter. That's yeah. kind of cute. Yeah. Not your pinky toe cold in the winter. My pinky toe is cold because it couldn't touch the shoe for a couple of weeks. Oh, that's hilarious. It's kind of cute. Man. All right. Well, we got to get head to the airport. We're bringing him a short one. We couldn't do five more. We could do five more. Yeah. I think it's, yeah, like three more. Did, no, we, did we start to, there. We started here. Oh, oh, my bad. We okay, put that okay. on. We dilly dallied for a minute. We love to give the producers five minutes of us at the most stressful moment ever before we start the podcast. Before, to be we're honest, on. me and you are much nicer to each other than me and Sarah. Yeah. Oh, I've seen it firsthand. Stone <laughs> Science. That Stone Science shoot was. It's honestly, it took me a while to truly feel a deep friendship with Sarah after that stone science. <laughs> she's the worst. So listen, you guys are short with each other, short tempered. No, we actually are not that much anymore. We used to be worse when we were younger, which is crazy that I'm saying that, but it, I'm talking about literally like nine or eight years ago. That makes seven sense years ago. Though. Yeah. Of course. Everybody yeah. grows up a little. Yeah, yeah. We don't yell at each other as much, but we do. I mean, behind the scenes, you'll see Sarah. You're snippy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're very snippy. We never snip, really. No. I've never snipped at you. No, because I think you're so sweet. I can't <laughs> snip at you. Sarah will snip at me, so I'll snip at her back. Right. We both are Puerto Rican. Right. I forgot so Sarah, that Sarah's Puerto Sarah's, Rican. Sarah's a quarter Puerto Rican, and it comes out sometimes. Yeah. It's still in there. Like, it's a very strong thing. Well, it's one of my favorite things about her is that if something's upsetting her, it's coming out immediately. Yes. Which is nice because I don't, oh, I have that in me with some people and I wish I had it in me with the rest of the world. I wish when I had a problem, I could just put it on the table, communicate very directly what it is and say, we need to fix it right now. Yeah. Great attribute to a person. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Do you and Sarah record a few minutes before you start? And we say, do. And sometimes, it, it, sometimes you're like, we got to cut it before we send it to the producer. No, we're just like, he's just going to know who we are. It's like Sarah. I'm like, what are you? You'll see me being like, what are you doing? And she's like, oh, I'm just, I'm looking for a, a fairy cap. And I'm like, Sarah, we have to start the podcast. I have to leave in 15 minutes. I don't think I've ever talked to you like that. Did we ever talk about how uh, the night that we spent at Sarah's, you at one, and I know we were very high that night, but at one point you swore you saw a fairy. <laughs> and then the next day, the most prized thing from that vacation of mine went missing. And you know that that's what fairies do. <laughs> oh, really? They take your things. Did we really see a fairy when I was on drugs? You don't remember seeing a fairy? And then Maybe. the socks that Sarah, Sarah. Where did I see a fairy? We were sitting. It was when Sarah went to bed and we had nothing to talk about. <laughs> And you were, you saw it, you said it was right by the little light on the side of her house. Oh, you know, yeah. Cause you know how sometimes bugs when they're flying, they have the long legs mm -hmm. and they kind of look like fairies. Mm -hmm. Well, Kim saw a fairy and then the socks that Sarah gave me that literally had what looked like the Legion of Skanks face floating, floating in space with like spaceships and aliens around it. Mm -hmm. They were going to be my most prized possession ever. Just literally gone. disappeared out of thin air. Mm hmm. They're not at Sarah's. They're not at your place. They were never in my bag. Even though I wearing... remember packing them into the bag specifically because I cared so much about bringing them home. I was so excited for those socks. There's somewhere out there, there's a fairy wearing an oversized pair of socks. <laughs> I like the Wings going of over time. <laughs> Just the only thing sticking out are the wings. Yeah. And the rest of her little legs are split Just fully sp into the fully socks. In the socks. <laughs> Can someone draw that for us? I hope she's staying warm. I hope she's staying warm too. Our sweet little fairy girl. Our skanky fairy. Oh man. All right. You want to plug? Yeah. You guys can follow me on Twitter at Kimberly Congdon on Instagram at Kim Congdon. Check me out on twitch.tv slash Queen Kong one and uh, check out my other podcast with Sarah Weinshank where we don't fight um, <laughs> this bitch podcast anywhere you find podcasts. They call their podcast this bitch because that's what they say to each other so much. It's literally what it was. <laughs> it's the best. Um, you could you go check that out. Sarah's so funny. Sarah and Kim's podcast is the best. Yeah. Um, also, you could watch me on Stick and Portly. Watch Rick and Morty every Monday right after Legion of Skanks. Hell it is yeah. me and my amazing boyfriend, Michael Harrington. Y'all never thought you'd hear somebody say that. <laughs> um, watching and reacting to every episode of Rick and Morty. And then also you could catch every single episode of Broad Topics on demand at gasdigitalnetwork.com. All you have to do is use promo code TOPICS for a seven day free trial. You'll also get bonus content, live chats, all the good stuff. Uh, subscribe on YouTube, 
comment, leave a review on iTunes, help out the algorithm. We love you. Bye. Bye. Bye.